Hi, I'm David Klein. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Sarasota, Florida at the Kennedy White Orthopedic Center. In this orthopedic moment, I wanted to talk briefly about the difference between trigger fingers and Dupuytren's contractures because I see patients that confuse both of these things. First of all, a Dupuytren's contracture is in fact a contracture. Contracture meaning that the joint will not move through its full range of motion. Trigger finger is typically not a contracture unless it becomes locked to the point that you really can't move it. With trigger fingers, you'll be able to open and close your fingers, but sometimes with pain or a snap. With Dupuytren's, you gradually lose the range of motion where you can't even open the finger anymore, even with force. People with Dupuytren's typically have cords that are on the palm side of the hand and prevent extension of the fingers in any way. They usually are able to fully close, but can only open to a limit. With trigger fingers, they can usually get it open and then close, but it may snap back and forth. These are two entirely separate conditions and their treatment is quite different. Trigger fingers can be first treated with cortisone injections. Dupuytren's do not respond to cortisone injections and require some type of intervention to basically release the cord that's holding the contracture.